Hi, I'm Janet Darrow, and this is the American Dream. We're here in the East Village of Long Beach, which is the art district. And this is Art Central right here. We're at MOLA, which is a museum of Latin American art. And it's a very unique museum because it's the only museum of Latin American art contemporary uh, in all of the U.S. So let's go in and check it out. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Good Thank you so much for being here. here. Thank you. Thank you. This is Solomar Sali since she is the vice president of content, innovation, and re uh, outreach. Yes the museum. And you're going to tell us a little bit about the past, the present, and the future of the museum. And I know there's an exciting future planned. There is. Uh, so the Museum of Latin American Art, also known as MOLA, has been with us uh, in Long Beach since 1996 when Dr. Robert Gumbiner first uh, founded the museum. Mm -hmm. Our collection focuses on Latin American and Latinx artists. And it is our joy to be able to collect, preserve, and have that available for our audiences through our exhibition program and also the education program that we do. Our traveling exhibition program is also picking up. And for the future, MOLA wants to grow, wants to increase our gallery space, wants to increase the storage space, wants to increase the arts workshop space where we can host a lot more students that want to come to MOLA. Well, let's take a look at the museum. Right this way. Thank you. This is the exhibition that we've had features since 2023, and it's ending now in July 28th in 2024. It's been a wonderful pleasure to have Alexandre and his artwork here at MOLA. It's really interesting. Uh, you can see the yellow and the orange chairs. Those are the Katrina chairs, and those maquettes are definitely smaller scale. Yeah, and see, I see on the video the large scale. Of right, and so those two uh, were actually installed in Coachella in 2016-17. So you see all the Coachella attendees at the bottom of the video, and then you see these massive structures um, interacting with the space. Same artist. Yes, same artist, uh, but a different narrative. These are more standalone artworks and installations that he's put together. This allows us the opportunity to see how one topic can be presented and represented in so multiple media. So we have a watercolor, we have the, the, the three-dimensional sculpture, and then through the video you see the final installation of it somewhere. So welcome to the Robert Gumbiner Sculpture and Events Garden. This is our current permanent exhibition because the, the sculptures that are in this space, they don't move. They're a great representation of Latin American artists and we're just very excited. Anytime we're able to use the garden for anything, it can be our cultural festival programs that we have. It can also be for our gala that happens every year, a fundraising yeah, event. We have a stage here. We do. So everything happens on that stage. We have everybody sitting around here, for example, for the gala. And again, it's our way to say thank you for all of our supporters. So we're in the exhibition titled Alejandra Feltz, Cross-Border Women. Uh, this artist focuses on the everyday life of women that live in these cross-border towns. Particularly for her, she draws a lot of the experiences from Tijuana, which is where she works and lives right now. Thank you so much for sharing so much information about the museum. We're very excited to be a part of this. Now that we've seen some Latin American style art, maybe it's time to see a Latin style home, see the beautiful architecture of a Spanish style house. Come on, let's head out. So this house in Almeida Heights neighborhood is part of the Spanish uh, colonial revival. And you can see that it's got the red tile roofs, the decorative tile, little Moorish details like the, the tiles up there, the little balconies. Beautiful style, perfect for our California climate. It's time to end our day in Long Beach. I hope you enjoyed all the Latin American art and the beautiful Spanish architecture. Until next time, this is Janet Darrow for the American Dream. Hasta luego.